In My Words is a video series in which I will tell the story from my perspective, in my words, the story of being wrongly convicted for a murder and sexual assault that never happened. I was arrested in 1993 and convicted in 1994. I was released on bail in 2005 and acquitted in 2007. I experienced intense media coverage and made numerous presentations to universities, law classes, criminology classes, private groups, and once I spoke to a group of Ontario judges, which included the Ontario Chief Justice in 2009 on the Garden River First Nation. I tried to reforge family relationships and friendships. I failed in doing so, and I failed in three romantic relationships. In one of them, I could only watch as my fiancé deliberately forced an abortion of what would have been my first and only child in 2010 to 2011. October 2nd, 2018, I, sp I spoke at the University of Guelph. By the end of 2018, because of changes in Canadian law, specifically the enactment of Bill 51, I figuratively collapsed from emotional exhaustion and faced the fact that I absolutely failed and did not make any positive influence in the Canadian government, the culture of lawyers, Canadian society on the whole, or within Aboriginal culture and society to address and stop wrongful convictions in any way. June 2018 would have been my 25th year in prison and what would have went in front of the parole board if I was still behind the walls of the Canadian prison system. Now it is 2021, I am 50 years old and can say with 100% certain certainty that with all that I experienced, much of it in the public eye, the country of Canada has squeezed and got that 25 years from me. Since 2018, I have been denied access to ab Aboriginal healing practices and shunned from my own people. I suffer PTSD and other ailments directly related to being wrongly convicted for, the, for, the murder, for a murder and sexual assault that never happened. When the so-called justice system sentences you to life in prison without possibility of parole for 25 years, that, exa that is exactly what they mean and exactly what they will get, your life. I was 22 years old when, when arrested and now I am 50 years old. My sentence will not end anytime soon. Thank you, Stephen. I, uh, of my last Almost 10 years now, I've been very fortunate to know this man. Uh, he had me speak to his law class for the first time in 2009, right on my birthday, in September 2009, and I've been speaking to his law class ever since. I'm very... I feel very fortunate and humbled to be able to come here and speak to you group of people on this day. I. Uh, 
I've been looking forward to this since he asked me a few months back there, and and I really didn't know what I was going to tell you because really I've been out now longer than I was in, so it's kind of time to move on to more urgent and more pressing issues than just hearing me talk about time in jail and and my impressions of the jail system because it's not a very good one, yeah, as you might think. Um, I, uh, I've been struggling with the fact for the last 13 years that nobody killed my niece and nobody molested her. And that is troubling because that hole in the justice system, in the court system, only confirms to me that it's not a justice system, it's a conviction system. Only. I shouldn't even have been arrested, but yet that arrest is still on my, on my record. And any police, any, if I try to cross the border, anybody that CPEX me is going to see that I was accused of first degree murder and sexual assault of my niece, Valor, for the rest of my life. And that is wrong. So the only that real dream I have now is trying to live as happy as I can and as comfortable as I can. And that's, that's a pretty broad spectrum, if you ask me, with no real concrete direction. You know what I mean? And that's, it's not easy to live aimless like that. No one. No one, you know? So I did, I, I, I wrote some songs, and what we all share is that we all get old. We gotta all get older. Time goes by, gray hair starts coming in, and you start seeing it, that I'm getting older. I'm getting slower, slow, slowing down. I got diabetes now, I got some other issues, like health issues I have to deal with. But, uh, but I wrote a song, and, called uh, It's a Shame When Things Change. And that's what it has to do with. That the only thing in this world that changes is that we all get older. So if you'll indulge me, I'll try and I hope this comes across because I've never played this in front of a group like this. I'm not a professional. I wouldn't call myself a good guitar player, but I do my best. It's a shame when things change. <laughs> It's a shame when things change All alone in the rain Wash away the pain You can love again It's a shame when things change Yesterday's gone Much of home is now gone So I just gotta say Simply out of rage, it's a shame when things change. High school's no more. In life there's much more. So I walked away, worst mistake I made. It's a shame when things change. I have done time. Life for no crime My youth passed away Ready to fight I stayed It's a shame when things change Some dreams will pass on In jail you keep on The friendships I have made Only good to say It's a shame when things change Finally back home I feel so alone I'll learn to live again But accepting friends again It's a shame when things change Getting older like all I hope I don't fall 
I don't know what to say when life gets very frayed. It's a shame when things change. It's a shame when things change. All alone in the rain to wash away the pain. You can love again. It's a shame when things change. That they wanna know what prison is like with nowhere to go. Just close your eyes.